Okay, let's see what we've got here. Uh, a chest, so well, there's nothing in there, obviously. Oh, and then all of a sudden there's a wall here. And now if I look back, even the chest is gone and I'm stuck in this tiny room. Basically what's happening, there are three rooms. This is the first one, and this is the one with the wall there, and this is the one without the chest. Um, what I want to happen is that anyone crossing this line will be teleported to the second room. Now that's, as you can see, oh, I actually got teleported to the third room already. Uh, what I did um, is make this spawner spawn items on top of this pressure plate. That's going to trigger this clock, which is going to teleport players relatively. What, the, what that means is when I want to teleport like one block up, then I can say this, and now I'm teleporting one block up every time. So that's what's happening here. Um, and this spawner is just spawning items. I told you that about that in the first or second episode. I'm not sure. Anyway, just spawn uh, it on the pressure plate uh, with H set to 5999. So it's despawning immediately. And that way it's going to trigger that clock. Now, you might be wondering, why don't you just use a clock like this? Why the spawner? Uh, you could use this very easily as well. Well, the main reason is because in, especially the Code 2, there were a lot of these moments. And if you set them all in one clock, then that's going to cause a lot of lag. And there's one other thing. If you look back while you are walking to the chest, you can actually see the teleportation happening. So if that's not what you want, then you could make something like this. What that's doing is, is if you look back there, there's nothing. And if I walk this way, it says dead end. Then when you look, uh, walk back, there's cake. So just put this wall in between them, then they won't see that. One extra tip, if you are creating this, make sure you use a lot of these details in the wall. So if you get teleported, even though it's like this, then actually, oh, I actually forgot a detail there, didn't I? Yeah, I forgot one. So if you get teleported, even though you can see it very clearly, um, then it's make sure it just looks exactly the same. So they that that's the best you can do because you can you can't just remove the glitch you see when you get teleported. You can see your hands moving sometimes and and air all of a sudden, as you can see. So yeah, unfortunately there's nothing I can do about that. But if you want to make it uh, the teleportation as disguised as disguised as possible then make sure you use all of these details in the walls. I guess that's it for today. If you have any questions about this or anything else I did in the code, just ask me in the comments. Maybe I'll just tell you in the comments or make a video about it. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.